Hey everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite here, and today we're going to be talking about Rimuru, Rimaru, Rimaru, however you want to pronounce his name. Uh, the slime collab is here, and he is the first one up to bat. So I did kind of briefly cover him in a video where we just kind of, you know, really looked at his kit and read over his abilities. Um, and I'll be honest with you, he's kind of a confusing character. I think a lot of people are struggling right now to figure out what to do with him. There's not a lot of hype for this character. A lot of people are kind of skipping this character and waiting for the second part of the collab because a lot of people are more excited about the second character to come. Uh, but I have a fresh account, so... Uh, in a nutshell, that's why I pulled Rimaru, Rimaru, okay? Um, the reason I did that is because the easiest way to power up an account in Last Claudia is to pull a collab character. They come with 200 shards. The way I looked at it is, um, well, he's a mage, and looking through his kit and, you know, making the last video I made about him, I did notice that he covers, like, four or five elements between the spells he has and you know what's in his kit there's a ton of different elements being covered there and he gets a damage boost to every element that he throws uh, and including his spells so I was like okay you know if I get this character he comes with 200 shards that will help me clear content and I can also cover a bunch of different elements at the same time um, so I pulled the character, and I was looking through the gear, um, like his paywall weapon is a sword. I, I started getting confused, I'm like, what is going on here? This guy's supposed to be a mage, uh, why on earth are they giving him a sword? It's actually, let's bring this little character up, so we can kind of talk about him. Um, another thing too is if we look at you know his arc uh, the arc that you know comes on the banner with him this arc is adding to strength it's giving a lot more strength than intelligence right and the ether reward is actually a sword that increases your strength by 15 percent so that's kind of confusing too because typically when they drop a character um, the arc that comes on their banner is, you know, an arc that's supposed to be good for them to use. So it just doesn't make that much sense why there's a sword on here instead of some kind of staff, um, a sword that increases strength. Because uh, when we look at the character, Rimaru, Mr. Tempest over here, he actually has a very low strength. 647 so that's what was confusing to me at first I'm like well, why are they giving him a sword I can see that the sword um, can add up to 50% more damage to a spell that he's going to throw so I'm like okay um, weird but okay I guess he is a hybrid character and that kind of encourages you to use his kit and then drop a spell uh, but it still didn't really make a lot of sense to me why they didn't just give him a staff. Uh, until I actually started running this character. So, here's what I'm going to say about this character after I've actually ran him and used him. Um, his real strength lies in his abilities. I personally think that, you know, Black Lightning, Flare Circle, Black Flame, all of these have super high uh, modifiers. Sorry guys, it's late. But yeah, his kit has super high modifiers in it. Um, another very pleasant thing about this character is he's very resilient. I mean, he is a little slime. He is very hard to kill. Um, when you compare him to other mages, even Lilith, uh, this guy is very resilient. So, he's gonna be there for the full fight. Um, 
which is really cool. I like that about him. You know, there's a lot of different elements just in his kit here. And his traits, uh, total analysis. Um, yeah, this makes him pretty tanky. It makes him beefy. Um, increased status ailment, uh, magic attack, damage cap, and damage resistance. So he's hard to kill. He's gonna be there for the fight. He comes back to life multiple. He comes back to life once, I believe, and uh, he has like awaken. So these are all good things to have. Um, and great sage, magic attack damage 25%. Um, you can also he also has full potential, which is another 15% to everything. So that puts him up to a 40% damage increase uh, with his magic attack well with his magic spell and then if you have his sword and you use a few of his abilities um, you can get up to 50% more damage with an attack spell that you cast so all of that adds up to 90% more damage with the spell that you choose to cast and obviously you're going to pick a spell that your enemy is weak against so he's kinda got that going for him too so I'm kinda looking over everything and I'm just really trying to figure out what's what with him like I said I think a lot of people are confused on how to build this character because I've been running him off like my friends list and just well just random people uh, that have this character and I've been looking at different builds um, and a lot of people are just trying to build up his intelligence because, well, he is a mage. Um, that's kind of why I'm making this video. I really don't think this guy is a mage. Um, he is a hybrid damager. And pretty much how I feel that they built this character is they made his modifiers on his abilities so high that, of course, uh, when it comes to his skill tree they had to put all mage abilities on his skill tree because if if his skill tree had a bunch of abilities that would power up um, you know his kit right here he would just be OP broken so um, this is a new account so I don't have a bunch of different gear and a bunch of different things to test out on him but I still have all my old benchmarks and I've taken this character and I've ran him with no gear I've ran him with some gear um, and I can tell you for sure that all of these have high modifiers. Um, they're really high actually. Uh, because he has a low strength and he's still hitting like a truck with these things. So the way I see it is they didn't want to uh, make a broken character. So for his, uh, for his skill tree, um, like they filled all of this out with his mage abilities magic up two, magic up max auto aura okay because then you couldn't just double down on all of his uh, kit abilities here um, and just power them up uh, without having to use that much SC that's the way I see it because I just see him doing so much damage with such a low attack because remember his basic attack and all of these abilities uh, they all scale off of his strength um, and his strength is super low and even with the super low strength he's still hitting like a truck so uh, my personal advice for this character and this is what I'm trying to do right now uh, you know it's nice what they give him uh, as far as intelligence goes in his uh, tree I would just leave that alone and I would add attack to him and I would add some crit because here's the other thing too this character is not going to be getting critical hits with magic right he can power up a spell to do 90 percent more damage and he can increase the damage cap which is great he's still gonna be hitting like a truck with the magic that he's using especially considering that he's gonna cast a spell that the enemy's probably weak against he has like four different elements that he gets for free um, I would just leave that alone I would concentrate on strength and maybe a crit build because remember he can score crits 
with all these different abilities. Um, and with his true power ability, he gets 15% more damage to pretty much every attribute. And all of these attacks are a different attribute. If you have his sword, even his basic attack um, has a fire attribute to it. So he's going to be getting 15 more percent to the damage of his basic attack. He's going to be getting uh, that same bonus to all of these abilities, right? And these can also proc criticals. So you're not going to be able to strengthen his uh, the magic part of his kit with criticals. Um, I mean, if you are, you're only going to be able to do it with one element, and it's just kind of like not worth it. But you can get crits with all of these, um, you know, so that gives you something to work on, right? Like, you can boost this guy's strength, try to get it up to par. These are already high modifiers. Put some crit on him so he can start getting crits with these. And I think he can just do a ton of damage um, and Predator is very nice because you know he's very self sustaining with it um, yeah this gives him back some hit points some magic points and it boosts his SCT so as soon as you drop Predator you can start throwing Black Lightning and Flare Circle again because these things are going to charge up so mind you I have this character right now kind of in like a bare bones kit but um, I can already tell that as soon as I actually develop this character and put like some skill charge abilities on him, um, some auto haste, that he's going to be able to just use this kit nonstop. And after he throws four or five of these abilities and he gets that plus 50% uh, to his, you know, his next spell that he's going to cast, um, don't get me wrong, he's going to do some good good damage with that magic. Uh, but I really think that the majority of this character's damage is going to come from his abilities, from this kit right here. And I think that's awesome because I really do like using uh, these abilities. They're very nice, they're awesome, absolutely love them. Uh, Flare Circle throws the enemy up in the air, it gives them some air time. And actually while they're up there you can cast a spell on them, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Black Lightning is just sweet. It's very spammable. It shoots all the way across the screen. It knocks the enemies back. Also, uh, these abilities, they, uh, they use one of two of your enemy's resistances, whichever one is lower. So that goes a long way too. Like Black Lightning is a thunder combo attack, and it's going to work against your enemy's dark resistance if it's lower than his thunder resistance so he's always got that going for him too so overall uh, as far as running this character goes I think he's very misunderstood I'm finally starting to actually see kind of what they were um, trying to make out of this character and why they actually gave him a sword why the arc on his banner you know has a sword that increases your attack it's almost kinda like them trying to hint that like hey guys this guy, this character is a hybrid character, and you know, as long as you fill out his uh, skill tree, all of the mage abilities are already there. You should probably work on getting his attack up, giving him some crit, and really empowering this character's abilities because these abilities seem to have really high modifiers. And like I said, I think most of this character's damage is going to come from these abilities, and I personally like that. I'm really pleasantly surprised with this character so far so um, I wanted to put something out there because like I said I've been looking over a lot of different Rimarus, Rimarus and uh, it seems like a lot of people are confused on how to build him so I wanted to get something out because I didn't actually make a video about this character um, and, and gameplay and how I actually think he should be played we just kinda covered his stats and everything so what I'm personally going to do is I'm gonna work on that strength I'm going to work on uh, crit I'm gonna see what I can do with with critical and with attack and the magic's always gonna be there right as long as you fill out his tree he's always gonna have all those nasty mage abilities 
and as long as you have that sword and you can power up his spell, it's still going to do great damage. I, I wholeheartedly think that. Um, also, he has a lot of MP, which is great. So if you're not really dropping spells left and right like you would with another mage like Lily, um, when you run Lily, as soon as the fight starts, you're dropping whatever spell, and then you're going to spam whatever spell you possibly can. That's what Lily does. Uh, this guy is fundamentally different. Um, so I feel like there's more room for you to do stuff with his MP. Like, I might put sharp eyes on this character, so every time he throws one of these abilities, uh, it might eat away at his MP a little bit, but it's going to increase the damage of these. And like I said, I think these already have a very high modifier. So, uh, I just wanted to put something out there. Um, guys, the comments are open uh, about this character, Mr. Tempest. Let me know uh, what you think about this character. Uh, let me know what build is working for you. Um, I know some people skip this character, but anybody that got this character, let's have a good discussion about this. Let's actually talk about what's working for this character. And so far, this is what's worked for me. I only have about 50 or 60 of his uh, abilities unlocked. Um, but, you know, I've, I've already noticed that all of these have a high modifier and um, I can totally see why they gave him a sword now because we should probably be working on this guy's attack stat maybe a little bit of critical in there um, I also thought about what is that ability called a newel of meth or whatever it is uh, that increases your damage um, if your uh, attack is well, if you're attacking your opponent's weakness, which this guy is very good at because he has, you know, so many different elements, right? Um, he also runs really well with uh, the new swimsuit girl. She impels dark. You know, some of this guy's abilities turn to, well, they, they can go against your enemy's uh, dark resistance. So it works out really well. Um, he also runs really well with rolling because... Roland can be a very powerful tank dot damage over time. And Roland can kind of hold all the enemies up, um, at least the way that I have Roland built as a tank, while this guy just stands in the back and keeps throwing that uh, black lightning and that flare circle. Just these, the S1 and S2 alone are pretty damn lethal. And then if anybody gets past Roland, he can throw a black flame, which does stay up for quite a while. It makes a nice barrier between him and the enemy. Um, honestly, about the only thing I think they could have done to improve this character is uh, let you move the character around while he has black flame up. That would be really cool. That way you could put that wall up and just walk right into the enemies. And, you know, uh, so uh, it would be really cool if Last Claudia did that. It would definitely be some kudos, but um, I will definitely take this character and the 200 shards that come with him. I am having a lot of fun playing with him. Uh, he's definitely cool. He's something different, right? So I can't wait to see uh, how this character really turns out. And I think some people that are just going to pass on this character, um, I don't think they know... <laughs> I don't think they know how powerful his actual abilities are. That's why I wish Last Cloudy, instead of just letting us kind of see this character, I wish they would let us sample a character, you know, kind of run him through a level or something like that. That way people would have a better idea of how a character actually plays before they decide whether or not they want to pull on him. But he's his banner's still up, so I wanted to get something out there. Um, I actually think this is a really cool character. Um, after the time that I've spent running this guy around, um, I've actually started powering him up more than my Roland, and Roland is like the main character on this account. So, um, yeah, guys, like I said, the comments are open. Let's talk about this. Let me know what's working for you as far as a Tempest build. Um, so, because there might be some people out there that think that, you know, the, the opposite of what I'm saying that maybe you should just try to beef, beef up his intelligence as much as you can and just use him as a straight-up mage. Um, again, I personally don't think that. 
I, I don't. I just think like the way that he's built, the fact that they're giving you a sword for him and kind of pushing you in that direction already, and kind of how his arc looks. His arc is giving him more attack than intelligence, and the ether reward is a sword that gives you 15% to your strength. So I personally think the strength stat is key for this character because it's going to supplement these abilities that have super high modifiers. So, like I said, everybody, the comments are open. Mobile Gamers Unite. Everybody have an awesome night. And I will talk to you all soon. And if you didn't pull this character yet and you're trying, best of luck to you. Peace, everyone.